static torsion. The aim of our experiment is to determine the rigidity modulus of the material of a given rod using the static torsion apparatus. We are provided with the static torsion apparatus, a scale and telescope arrangement to measure the shift produced for a ma particular mass m and from that we can determine the angle of twist theta. Now we will see the static torsion apparatus. The static torsion apparatus consists of a rod. Now this is a rod. One end of the rod is clamped here on a rigid support and the other end is attached to a circular wheel, a circular wheel. Now a cord which can wound over the circular wheel and a weight hanger is suspended at one end of the cord. Now this cord can be kept in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction. Now for the experimental arrangement we require uh, the length, the length is from the clamped end to the point where the mirror is fixed that is the length of the rod. Now in order to measure the, now when a weight is added here, when a weight is added here what happens that the rod get twisted. So the, uh, the rod is twisted through a certain angle theta. So in, in order to measure that theta, we are using a scale and a telescope arrangement. So initially when the load is W0 or dead load. Now through looking through the telescope, we can get a particular scale reading. The crosshair of the telescope coincides with a particular reading that is the reading corresponds to dead load. When a load, when a load M is attached here or added here or suspended here, uh, the rod is twisted, the mirror reading shifts to another value of the scale reading. Then we are getting that scale reading from the telescope. So the difference of that two gives uh, the shift S. Yes. From that shift only we are measuring the angle of twist theta. We will see the formula later. So we can measure the uh, shift S yes for a given load M. So that is the apparatus. Now coming to the theory, the rigidity modulus is calculated using the formula n is equal to 4 mg r by pi r raised to 4 into L d by s. Now where m we mentioned the load that we are suspending, g the gravity, small r is the radius of the rod and capital R is the radius of the wheel and L we mentioned that is the length of the rod from the clamped end to the point where the mirror is fixed. And capital D is, we are using a scale and mirror arrangement. Uh, the distance of the mirror from the telescope and scale, that is the capital D. And S is the shift in the telescope reading. S is the shift in the scale reading, that means the shift in the telescope reading. So this is the formula. And uh, this formula we are getting actually uh, from the theory, that means when we are suspending a certain mass, a couple is acting on the wheel and that couple is mgr and this couple is balanced by a restoring couple that is pi n r is to 4 theta by L where this theta is calculated with the help of the uh, scale and telescope arrangement theta is equal to s by 2d and we are substituting for this theta and then we are getting the earlier formula n of rigidity modulus that is n is equal to we are substituting theta s by 2d then n is equal to 4 mg r by pi r s to 4 l d by s. So we can observe that here 4 mg r by pi r s to 4 all the terms are constant terms. So the varying term is l d and s. So initially for a particular value of l uh, for different masses we are finding the value of s that means shift we are calculating then we can calculate the value of l d by s. If you want to repeat we can repeat for another value of l then in that case also we are determining L d by S. So initially we want to find L d by S. So for that we are using a table column here. We are using a table column here. Now initially we are fixing the uh, length of the road say 30 centimeter or 40 centimeter. Capital D the distance between the mirror and the scale arrangement. Now we are suspending a load W0 initially. Then it is arranged clockwise direction that means the load is suspended in the clockwise direction and we are having loading. Now in correspond to W0 we are getting a scale reading that we are marking here on loading. Then W0 plus M we are suspending a mass M additional mass then corresponding reading is taken then for 2M, 3M, 4M, 5M, 6M, 7M for each load we are taking the scale reading. 
this m can be either 50 gram or 100 gram then after adding 7 m we are removing one of the mass then it corresponds to 6 m then again we are taking the reading then 5 m 4 m and this is called unloading so for loading and for unloading we are taking the reading we are getting almost the same reading and then we are finding the mean of that too so corresponds to w0 the reading is marked as x0 for w0 plus m that is marked as 1 w0 plus for 2m the scale reading is x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 and x7 then in the next column we are calculating say x4 minus x0 that means reading corresponds to a load of w0 plus 4m and w0 that gives x4 minus x0 actually this x4 minus x0 is the shift produced the shift of the scale reading produced for a mass of 4m 4m similarly x5 minus x1 we are calculating that also that is w0 plus 5m minus w0 plus m similarly x6 minus x2 x7 minus x3 all these gives we are getting 4 all these gives the shift to 4 of a mass of 4m similarly now we are changing the load in the anti clockwise direction now in the anti clockwise direction also for the loads w0 w0 plus m 2m up to 7m on loading and for unloading also we are taking the telescope reading for loading and unloading then we are determining the mean of that two and that mean is marked as y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 up to y7 then again y4 minus y0 y5 minus y1 y6 minus y2 and y7 minus y3 gives the shift to 4 4m then in the tableau column we can determine the value of ld by s lb already decided here l is nearly 30 centimeter d about uh, 1 meter so ld by s is calculated and if you require we can repeat the experiment for another length also two or three times we can repeat so we are calculating the mean value of ld by s then for the wheel we are determined the circumference of the wheel is measured with the help of a string or uh, twine then from that the circumference divided by 2 pi gives the radius of the wheel so we obtain the radius then with the help of a screw gauge we determine the uh, diameter of the road so this is the table column for the screw gauge pitch scale reading head scale reading are noted the corrected value of hsr is noted and we are getting the diameter that's also repeated five or six times then we obtain the diameter and radius of the road we obtain so using this value of ld by s capital r and small r and for a non mass m we are uh, we, we are using either 50 gram or 100 gram we can calculate the rigidity modulus using the formula 4 mg r by pi r raised to 4 ld by s this is the static torsion apparatus the rigid rod is here one end is clamped here clamped end and the other end of the rod is passing or attached to a wheel a circular wheel now a cord is now this is the cord this cord can pass over the circular wheel either in the clockwise direction we can pass or we can pass it in the anti-clockwise direction so we are repeating the experiment for clockwise and anti-clockwise so initially it is kept in the clockwise direction and we can suspend different weights a weight hanger is there and different weights are given we can add the weights we can suspend the mass over the wheel over the wheel now the length of the rod is measured from the clamped end to a particular point where a mirror is fixed that we can change we can change that distance now initially i fix the distance say at a distance of 30 centimeter i required so i moving the point is moved and placed at a distance of say 30 centimeter from here to here the distance is 30 centimeter the mirror is arranged the mirror is arranged vertically perfectly vertically it is arranged now the scale and telescope arrangement now the scale is placed in front of the mirror now we can move the scale like this so that the image of the scale can be observed on the mirror there then looking through the telescope looking through the telescope and observing that particular scale then i can see the scale then i can focus with the help of the focusing screw the telescope is focused now the horizontal crosshair is coinciding with a particular division on the scale i can move here now it is coinciding the horizontal crosshair is coinciding with the reading say that is 24.1 
So, initially a dead load is hanged there W 0. So, corresponding to the dead load I am getting a reading 24.1. So, the 24.1 is recorded here. Now, we are adding a certain mass say 100 gram here 100 gram is added here. Now, the total mass is say W 0 plus 100 gram or we can say W 0 plus m but m is equal to 100 gram. Now, what happens that this particular wheel is tilted or twisted then the mirror also twisted through the same angle then correspondingly what happens that our scale reading changes. Now, we have to focus on the telescope and we have to find out the new scale reading. Now, we are repeating that we are adding the mass again now that is W 0 plus 2 m then again the scale reading changes we are taking the scale reading W 0 plus 3 m W 0 plus 4 m W 0 plus 5 m I am adding the different loads W 0 plus 6 m and that W 0 plus 7 m. So, in each case we are taking the telescope reading and that readings are copied in the tabular column. Now, we are removing the masses one by one. Now, one mass is removed. Now, the mass is W 0 plus 6 m only. One more is removed 5 m. We are taking reading again one more mass is removed 4 m. Then one more is removed 3 m. Then one more is removed 2 m and one more is removed 1 m and the last one is also removed. Now, the mass is W 0. So, in each case we are taking the reading. So, that means we are taking the reading for loading and for unloading. Now, we want to repeat the experiment when the cord or when the wheel is weighed or a weight is added in the anti clockwise direction. So, for that the cord is passed in the anti clockwise direction. Initially, for a load W 0, we are finding the scale reading. Then, as in the earlier case, we are adding the masses W 0 plus m, 2 m, 3 m, 4 m, up to 7 m. In each case, we are determining or we are marking the scale reading and then we are unloading. For unloading also, uh, we mark the scale readings. Then, with the help of a string, we want to find the uh, radius for that. We are determining the circumference. Now, for that, we are passing a string like this then we can find the circumference that is 2 pi r. Now, here I am getting this much length and with the help of a scale uh, we can find out how much is the circumference r is r. So, here I am getting a length of say uh, 40 centimeter as the uh, circumference. Uh, from that we can determine the radius r of the wheel, radius r of the wheel. Then again using the with the help of a screw gauge, a screw gauge is provided with the help of that screw gauge we can find the diameter of the road because we require the radius of the road. So, we are determining the diameter of the road first. Now, here I am getting uh, a pitch scale reading of 4 and a head scale reading of about 60. Then at different positions I am repeating in each time we are finding the pitch scale reading and the corresponding uh, head scale reading. Now, from that the diameter and then uh, the radius of the road can be determined. Now, one more value we require that is the distance between the distance between the scale and the the scale and the mirror. So, from the scale we are measuring what is the distance to the mirror here. Here I am getting the distance from the scale to mirror as say 92 centimeter. So, the capital D value is at 92 centimeter. So, we already have all the required quantities for the calculation of rigidity modulus. Now, for the static torsion apparatus, we are having some observations. We will discuss the observations that we obtained. Now, we mentioned the capital D, the distance between the scale and mirror that is 92 centimeter I obtained that is 0.92 meter. Now, in the tabular column, we are used a particular length say 40 centimeter that is 0.4 meter. So, we are adding the mass in grams that is dead load W 0 then 1 m, 2 m, 3 m up to 7 m and the mass m is 100 gram. Then when it is suspended in the clockwise direction my readings are uh, on loading I obtain the reading 24.1, 21.54, 1 m for 2 m 18.8, 4 
for 3m 16.3 similarly up to for 7m the reading is 4.6 then for unloading the readings are like this then we are finding the mean value of uh, readings uh, 24.1 and 24 that is equal to 24.15 24.5 and 24 uh, 21.5 uh, 21 and 21.4 that is 21.45 so the mean value x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 up to x7 then here i am calculating s uh, for difference of x1 uh, x0 or x, uh, x0 minus or x0 difference of x4 reading of uh, x4 difference of x0 that i obtained 11 similarly uh, x1 difference of x5 x2 difference of x6 and x3 difference of x7 each time i am getting a value 11 11.3 etc now the experiment is performed uh, performed by suspending the mass in the anti clockwise direction there also for loading and unloading we are taking readings and the mean readings are calculated the difference is calculated for uh, for a shift of 4m then we are having eight shift values then mean shift uh, is calculated uh, for a shift of, uh, for 4m for the mean of this eight reading is 10.71 then that 10.71 divided by 4 that gives the shift to 4m because this is the shift for 4m then shift to 4m is 2.6 into 10 to the power of 2 then we calculate the value of ld by s l is 0.4 d is 0.92 ld by s s is 10 point sorry 2.6 into 10 to the power of 2 so we calculated uh, we obtained the ld by s as 13.77 so that is the mean value of ld by s now the circumference of the wheel i obtained 40 centimeter uh, so the radius is equal to 40 divided by 2 pi that is 6.36 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter then using this screw gauge the diameter of the road is find out the pitch scale reading is always or, uh, almost the same that is 4 i obtained the head scale reading is slightly changing 65 64 etc now here the there's a zero correction of 5 is there that is plus 5 and that is added corrected hsr is determined and the diameter value is obtained here that is 4 point the mean value is 4.692 millimeter so the radius is calculated from the diameter so the suspended mass i mentioned each time we are adding m 100 gram that is 100 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kilogram so the calculated value of mean ld by s is 13.77 uh, then we can calculate the rigidity modulus using the formula 4 mgr divided by pi r is to 4 into ld by s i got a rigidity modulus value 3.646 into 10 to the power of 10 so our result is rigidity modulus of the material of the bar is 3.646 into 10 to the power of 10 newton meter is to minus 2 now the used bar is a brass bar so this value agrees with the rigidity modulus of brass so our result is 3.6 into 10 to the power of at 10.